What's up guys and welcome to the level 3 Iron Man Skiller farming guide. I want to go over a couple of the requirements along with a couple of the recommended requirements that I have for this farm run. Number 1 is 34 farming. This is the minimum requirement to unlock the Tithe Farm minigame teleport which will give you ease of access to the herb patch in Zaya. Next is the Artie Cloak 1. This will give you access to the berry patch there at the monastery right underneath Artie along with the two fruit tree patches, one in the tree gnome stronghold and one in the tree gnome village. Number three is the chronicle. This will get you right underneath the Varrock and give you access to the berry patch there along with easy access to the belladonna patch at the Draenor Manor and also easy access to the Falador her patch as for the recommended one of my number one recommended is the fishing skill cape that way you can teleport there and easily have access quicker access to the tree gnome stronghold uh, fruit tree patch uh, it saves about a minute off your run which makes the difference whenever you're just trying to get through it quickly but next is seed box and auto weed these are both unlocked from the Tithe Farm minigame. The seed box saves plenty of uh, inventory space, and Auto Weed keeps you from having to worry about bringing a rake on your farm runs. And finally, Full Graceful is definitely recommended for these runs. Uh, if you do not have Full Graceful or a high agility level, you will be walking 99% of the time in this farm run. But with all this going over, we're going to go ahead and hop right in to the farm run. Alright guys, so we're starting here in the arty patch. So, what you want to do is you want to pick all the herbs, and then you want to pick all of the flowers, and then you want to note them at the tool leprechaun, and then grab two buckets of super compost or ultra compost, whichever you have, and then uh, replant your flowers and herbs, and then move on to the next patch. Then here you want to use your Ardon Cloak 1 to teleport to the monastery and drop these buckets. We're going to go ahead and run up to the little shipyard here in Ardi. And the reason we do this is because it saves run energy, plus we can make it to the palm tree and then buy pineapples pretty easily from there. And on the upside, this only costs 30 gold coins to make it to Bermhaven instead of the 480 if you go run all the way to Catherby. So yeah, we just run over here and we pay 30 gold and we teleport to Brimhaven. Alright, so once you make it here to the Brimhaven Palm Tree, you want to make sure that these jungle spiders are not near close to you to attack you. But you should get six coconuts per palm tree each run. Uh, and then you can just note them on the uh, tool leprechaun. Then the next step we do is we run up to the, uh, the charter workers and you trade them. Uh, you buy 15 pineapples. And then you go ahead and you charter over to Catherby. Now, if the trader is out of pineapples in Brimhaven, you can charter to Catherby and then try to trade them there. And it should be a completely separate stock. So they could have 15. If not, you'll have to hop worlds to get 15. But yeah, as you come up here to the Catherby herb patch, you want to run up beside the uh, compost bin and drop all of your pineapples i just shift click drop them here and after you drop all your pineapples you want to go ahead and grab a bunch of empty buckets from the tool leprechaun and run back over to the compost bin what i do is i zoom in and uh i go ahead and click them really quickly that way i can just hurry up and get them over with if you just click and then go over you don't have to do it very fast because if you do you'll skip some buckets 
So, but this does like double the speed of what you would normally collect compost. So just continue to do this and then pick up your pineapples and put them into the bin. After you finished uh, planting your herb seed and your flower patch back over again, you want to make your way down to the fruit tree patch in Catherby and go ahead and collect six more coconuts and note them at the tool leprechaun. After you collect your coconuts from this palm tree, you want to go ahead and use your chronicle teleport. Uh, over to near Verok and right here should be a berry bush that you've planted uh, The only thing you have to worry about over here is the smugger and he is easily trapped behind the berry bush So he's not too worrisome But anyway, you pick this berry bush and then we'll show where you, show you where you go next. Alright, so after you pick your berry bush and note them at the tool leprechaun, you want to run west over here to the stepping stones and go ahead and hop over these stepping stones. I believe you still fail them at over 90 agility because as you can see I am currently 96 agility in this guide. But watch out for these examined trees or dead trees. Uh, they can hit, I think I've been hit threes or fours by them before. So if you're not paying attention, they can also trap you from running. So yes, very dangerous trees. Uh, what you want to do here is go ahead and run into the Draenor Manor area. And uh, this is where your nightshades are going to be at, uh, belladonna plants. So you want to run up here and go ahead and collect your belladonna plants, uh, nightshades. And then go ahead and replant these. Uh, the reason we do these is for the weapon poison uh, for herb lore and also a good chance of the pet I believe that it has a good chance for the tangle root pet so just rearrange these in your inventory to fit and then run over to the uh, Falador herb patch Once you make it to this herb patch, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's pretty much the same as any other herb patch uh, that you would do. Just go ahead and harvest the two and replant them. Once you're all finished at the Falador herb patch, you want to run down through the cabbage field and pass the elemental wizards down to Remington and down that way is another berry bush patch so just run down there and go ahead and knock that one out of the way Once you reach here at this herb patch, just go ahead and harvest it and then note it at the tool leprechaun. Alright, and after you get done harvesting the berry bush, go ahead and set your minigame teleport to Tithe Farm. Uh, this is the minimum requirement for the farm run. Uh, I would suspect that since you're doing this specific farm run that you would have a high enough farming level to do palm trees so you should have the minigame teleport unlocked but once you reach Zaya you want to go ahead and run south all the way down until you reach the herb patch 
and then go ahead and do that herb patch as you did Falador and the other two. Once you finish at this herb patch, you want to go ahead and use your Arty Cloak 1 to teleport to the monastery. And once you arrive at the monastery, you want to go ahead and pick the Whiteberry Bush there, or Poison Ivy Bush, whichever one you have at the current time. Once you've finished harvesting this bush patch, you want to go ahead and head west over towards the Tree Gnome Village. And over there by Castle Wars will be a fruit tree patch for you to harvest. Once you've finished here, you can use your fishing cape teleport to the fishing guild to run to the tree gnome stronghold. But since it's not a common thing for people to have, we're going to go ahead and show you how to get there with using the Arty Cloak 1. So once you finish picking all the coconuts from here, we're going to go ahead and use the Lumbridge Home Teleport and then head over to Alcarid uh, to the Cactus Patch and you want to go ahead and harvest it of all of its cactus spines and then note them at the Tool Leprechaun. This is where the actual farming run ends. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my birdhouse and seaweed run as well. So what I do is I go ahead and I use my chronicle teleport back to the south of Verok. And I run up north to the east Verok bank. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that here quick. Right here at this fountain, I almost forgot, but if you are running low on your water in your pail, you can go ahead and refill it there, or you can refill it at this fountain right above me right now. Once you arrive at the bank, uh, I have a farm run tab that I use with Rune Light. So I bank all of the stuff that I've obtained from my farm runs. And then I take out four magic logs or any log that you can use with a birdhouse. 
a chisel, a hammer, all of my hop seeds, and I take out three energy potions. That way I can make it there quicker. But now we're going to run up to the boat that will take you to Fossil Island. Once arrived on Fossil Island, you want to go ahead and run west over towards the birdhouses and go ahead and harvest them. Use your chisel on your log and then plant the birdhouse back in the empty space and use your hop seeds on them. Once you've finished doing your birdhouse run, you want to go ahead and run east towards the little boat out here, uh, past these crabs. Uh, be careful with the crabs. I don't think they can hit too high. I've never actually been in danger with them. So just go ahead and use this boat and select the third option. Uh, this is where I use the bank to deposit all of my bird's nest, my hop seeds, and all my other equipment. And then after you finish banking this stuff, you want to go ahead and take your chronicle off so you can dive underwater and go do your seaweed run. Now with the seaweed run, it varies on how long this takes, uh, depending if you have seeds or not. So you want to go ahead and grab some sub super compost out and begin to harvest your seaweed. If you don't have any seeds, make sure you're looking out for seeds that spawned randomly on the floor around here. And if they do, go ahead and pick them up. Uh, I have one seed in my box at the moment. And a seed just spawned right there, so I got lucky. But sometimes I'm sitting here for up to 5 to 10 minutes waiting for a seed uh, to spawn, even with Hopping Worlds. And that is the end of the farm run that I do, along with birdhouse and seaweed. This took me approximately about 28 minutes to complete one run. Uh, sometimes you can take up to 30 minutes to do one run of this. Uh, of course, after this, I normally do a few more farm runs with just the herbs and skip the palm trees. And that normally takes my runs right under 20 minutes or 18 minutes. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the guide. I hope it helps you out. And I will see you guys after the new year. Damn, son, where'd you find me?